take y'all. And as we see the car unveiled uh, and the, the, the contributions by the manufacturer in, in uh, uh, working with the R&D Center and NASCAR's regulatory side to, to produce the, the 2013 Sprint Cup car, I think is, is uh, something that we're all excited to see unfold. Yeah, um, we'll uh, we'll be in the wind tunnel uh, over the next 30, 45 days with with uh, the new prototypes as they are um, as we do our evaluations on the submission cars, parts and pieces. Um, you know, everybody seems to be pretty far along, and uh, and the changes that will come out of those will be based on uh, parity and and uh, and with due to the wind tunnel numbers. So. We're, we're optimistic that uh, there'll have be some real race cars on racetracks uh, probably in the second quarter this year. Um.
doing some evaluation runs. I guess it's too early to, to answer uh, from a from a regulatory side. Um, I think the um, the the level of attention and the interest that is being paid by all the members of the teams and Robert and John and everybody from our side to get uh, the racing right is at an all time high. And what we saw on the racetrack yesterday, the ability to react from our side and from the team side to make adjustments and adapt to those adjustments, uh, I think is what we're seeing unfold in front of us. Uh, uh, the outcome, the proof in the pudding of the outcome will be the Daytona 500. Uh, but but we've not seen anything that we dislike, uh, but we know there's other things that we'd like to see more of. So I think the, the, the progress of the weekend, we're kind of in the middle of it right now. So uh, I think the progress of the weekend is going in the right direction. Um, but the, the biggest thing is, I think, from our perspective, is the level of interest in being sure that we all get the racing right. I have to believe that all the teams in engine shops feel pretty comfortable um, with all the testing and uh, the time to prepare for you know this this race and, and what we're doing now. You know, we've worked through a lot of the gremlins, so I think NASCAR has handled this um, really well, and, and we've had a lot of time to develop the systems and, and get things going. So I, I don't have any fear, and in, in I don't really sense any throughout the garage area. Um, we're still learning the rules packages as we go. It's hard to argue with the last five years and, and what had happened. I mean, last year, I guess, was the sixth year, and we didn't get the results that we wanted. But I really feel like we were competitive in a lot of areas. And, you know, Chad and I made some mistakes in the chase and, and took ourselves out of it. So um, it's been a very good offseason for me to um, internalize some things and to really evaluate what goes on, you know, from my, my standpoint and my involvement with the team and how good of a teammate and team member I can be for the 48 car. Well, it's uh, really it's just exciting to to get started to to start working with the five guys and everybody at Hendrick Motorsports. It's a it's really it's an incredible place, and I've been able to spend some time there over the off season and and just try to be as prepared as possible when we when we get here for testing and then when we get started at uh, during speed week. So it's a uh, it's neat though. It's it's awesome to to be able to talk with Jimmy and and Dale and and Jeff about racing and driving and things like that and then uh, just all the people that they have there um, I don't know it's just a it's, it's been kind of a different feeling more than anything than what I've had before at, at other race teams so I just uh, it's a great opportunity and uh, I want to take full advantage of it today we had a, a really good day uh, just trying to get our car just 
trying to figure it out. You know, they do things differently, and uh, we're trying to kind of fill it out and, and see how things felt and did a little bit of two-car stuff at the end. Um, that went pretty well, too. So I, I thought we had a good day. It was a, a nice uh, first, first day at Daytona. To me, if the, if the draft is fast enough and, and everybody can run together and you don't have to be pushing each other, then when you do have to change you know, from one car to the other because your, your engine gets hot, you're going to lose way more than, than what you gain, you know, depending on how close the draft is to the two-car speed. So until we do that, you know, there's, it's just kind of an unknown of, of how fast that draft will be. If you, I mean, you have to have 20 to 30 cars in that draft to see where it will really st you know, stand up, stack up against um, maybe the tandem or, or a couple cars in line tandem and together. So it's a, I think tomorrow we'll learn more about it, you know, and, and, and Saturday as well. I mean, it's the Daytona 500, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very excited about it. And, you know, the, the past uh, month or so, we've been running all over, doing all sorts of different things, and it's, it's been fun. And w there's been one common thing that, that I've found is everywhere we go, people are pumped about this season. I don't know if you guys are feeling that, too, and noticing that. But, I mean, we were in New York the other day and, you know, filming stuff at a bunch of different places, and, and people were, I mean, they were genuinely excited about the season. It, it's really, really neat to be a part of this right now.